Anyways, um, to lighten the mood a little bit, um, I have bumped into my first guy at the gym who wears jeans to work out. And I'm not talking about like, picture this, right? Because in my head, whenever some people talk to me about, oh, whenever, no, whenever someone would mention to me, oh my God, I was in the gym one time and I saw some guy with jeans. In my head, the way I'd rationalize it was like, because I, I love rationalizing crazy. I could understand a scenario where a couple of lads or maybe one lad before a night out in the town decides to just, you know, maybe leave their house an hour and a half before they leave, you know, maybe maybe you take a little maybe you buy maybe you wear like one of those primark t-shirts or something right it's not the greatest quality but it's like a two pound t-shirt and you have your nice t-shirt in your bag or something right your little, little plastic bag or something and then you go to the gym with your outfit and stuff and you just get a little pump on you hit the dumbbells you maybe hit the cables you maybe do a bit of bench maybe some push-ups wide narrow diamond maybe some dips, maybe some pull-ups, like whatever you can do to get a good upper body, chest, back, arm, shoulders pump. And then when you finish, you might do a little bit of a dry shampoo thing, maybe a quick rinse under the thing. And then you leave and you put your flipping shirt on to go and to meet your friends to pre-drink before you go on a night out. I could see that scenario and you probably chuck the flipping Primark t-shirt in the bin. I could see that scenario. It's kind of crazy, but I could see why you could do that. Or even if you wanted to just put on your full outfit and just go into the, the, the gym quickly and just quickly smash the curls. Do a little 20-minute set of just that boom, boom, boom. Put some deodorant on, a bit of fragrance, jump on the central line, off to Liverpool Street, you go. I could see that scenario happening. But I didn't see that. What I saw was a guy who, I don't know, had finished work or something and just went to the gym in his jeans. So instead of going home and changing, he just thought, fuck it, I'm just going to go to the gym with my jeans. That's the kind of guy that I saw. Like, and he was honestly wearing the type of outfit that you'd wear. Like, I worked in offices like this before, where Monday to Thursday, you're kind of like in a suit type of thing. And then on a Friday, you're allowed to wear like relaxed clothing, right? Kind of like business casual. And you had like, on these little jeans, these little like smartest trainers, blah, blah, blah. And he wore that to the gym. I was like, wow. Like basically his workout fit was just like gloves on like workout gloves i was like fucking hell that is wild like actually wild you couldn't go to the, your house quickly put on some shorts and come to the gym no i'm just gonna train and he's wearing like actual skinny jeans as well i couldn't imagine anything worse to being in the gym with everyone's sweating around you've got these fucking clangers on like the you know i think for me especially when i used to work in an office like taking off your jeans after hard days of work especially a pair of skinny jeans was like when a girl takes off their bra you know what i mean like oh you felt amazing so I couldn't imagine extending that time just to go and sit around in the gym someplace. But I saw that guy in the gym. I was like, wow, man, you're actually in here in your like Friday after work gear. Instead of going to the bar, imagine how popular that guy is in his fucking workplace. I said it before, like, you know, how important it is sometimes in some workplaces. Is it's really bad to be really good at the social side of things. Sometimes it's way better than actually being good at your job, which is fucking odd, but it happens a lot. So imagine how popular you, you are if you're the kind of person that you ditch the Friday after work drinks and then instead you go to the gym in your jeans. <laughs> Absolute sicko behavior. And also imagine dudes sweat a lot. I know I did when I was had that, when I when I was working in an office like physically with people. I used to sweat just sitting down. Like I sweat just normally. So you can imagine what I must be like when I'm on the fucking when I'm on, when I pop the molly and I'm sweating. But day to day, I sweat a lot anyway. So just imagine daily work sweat, going to lunch sweat, you know, jump running around, talking to your colleagues sweat, commuting sweat, and then you're in the fucking gym. Absolutely wild. But yeah, I saw that guy. That guy impressed me. Big up him for being in there. I also noticed a little tiny thing as well, a little tiny microaggression I've noticed of me in the gym. You know what I really love doing? I really love when I'm working out in the gym and I'm in the little rack section, right? And maybe the guy opposite me or the guy across or whatever is about to work out too. And then they put on their gloves and I just get out my chalk, my little, uh, you know, weightlifting chalk. I just rub that on my hands and I put, you know, grab the barbell, do my overhead presses, my back squats, my barbell rows, my deadlifts, whatever I need to do with that barbell. I just put some chalk, some nice you know, some good old, honest, hard, you know, um, working class, blue collar ch chalk on my hands, rub it together and just grab the barbell. You feel so much, you feel so much more manly 
Then the guy across from you has to put on these gloves with like gel padding and all this sort of nonsense. Like he legitimately looks like he's got like MMA gloves on with the amount of padding these gloves have got on them, right? Whereas I'm just going like straight up. Now don't get me wrong. My hands de- do end up looking like the inside of my hands are super calloused, right? I've got calluses all over my fucking hands and they're very rough. Like I don't have Drake hands. Drake has like, his hands look legitimately like he fucking, you know, um, sleeps you know overnight with them dipped in fucking honey and shit they look absolutely amazing but you know even though i have calluses over my hands it just it just makes me feel more manly that i have to put on gloves and i'm glad that's kind of like my um crossfit um experience that's kind of taught me that um and that's actually a good way to kind of get into weightlifting isn't it really that crossfit route where it's just really bare bones it's no it's no crazy shit even sometimes belts aren't encouraged because they want you to um have control of your you know of your fucking of your core essentially right they want you to always be conscious of your form of your core they don't want you to have terrible you know form when you're when you're flipping squatting they want you to always think of different cues all these type of things so that if you want to use a belt you can later on but the belt isn't a sort of like um isn't a correction tool for bad form and stuff and for bad habits you already get the habits locked in and that all comes from being bare bones you know all about the barbell all about the weights all about the free weights and stuff and cardio and tabata training and all that malarkey and then of course no gloves because you know you're never going to see a guy in the crossfit gym with gloves so maybe knee straps and stuff and wristbands um whatever but you're never going to see them with gloves which is a good thing so i've been happy about that i've been happy about that <laughs>